a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Elder Millen. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, we come today to hear from you again. Lord, as we listen to your words, I pray, Lord, that our spirits will be buoyed up and we will, O oh Lord, determine to make it into your eternal kingdom. For Christ's sake, amen. Amen. I believe that every child of God is longing for Christ's return. When we look around at what is happening, destruction and death all around us, we cry out, even so, come, Lord Jesus. As we look at today's topic, the countdown, we recognize that we are in the final days of Earth's history. While no man knows the exact time that the Lord will appear, in Matthew 24, Jesus gave his disciples a sketch of what it would look like just before he returns. Why would Jesus do this? He knew what the disciples would face. Most of them were martyred, so he wanted them to have something to hold on to. He wanted to give them hope that even in the face of persecution, they could find comfort. They could find rest in knowing that Jesus was coming back to put an end to sin and all that sin causes, the ultimate being death. Jesus wants his people to be prepared for his coming. He also wants us to be able to rest in the not yet. As children of God, we can smile, we can have joy, we can have peace, we can have rest because we know the end of the story. And even though there is worse to come, even more than, even worse than COVID, we know that a better day is coming and it won't be long from now. Jesus' coming will be a literal coming. The Bible tells us in Matthew 24, verse 27, and in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17, that it will be visible and it will be audible. The last time there was a cosmic event, God wanted to save everyone, so he gave Noah a message. Sadly, only eight people were saved. This time around, God wants to save all of us just as he did then. And he said, this gospel must be preached in all the world, then shall the end come. We are called to be modern day Noahs. Let us fearlessly, let us fearlessly take the good news of salvation to a dying world so that when Christ returns, we along with those with whom we have worked, those we have shared the good news of salvation with, with us will be saved in God's eternal kingdom. We will, research, we will receive his eternal rest. Yes, the time of the end will be terrible times. Yes, God's children will be persecuted. But as Matthew 24 verse 12 states, he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Thank you, Jesus, for your comforting words today, helping us to understand that despite all that we go through here, despite the darkness that has descended upon the earth, that as your children we know that a better day is coming. And so, Lord, I pray that you will give us the strength that we need, the courage to go fearlessly and even, Lord, and despite the difficulties that we will tell others that your coming is near so that they can be prepared and may when you come Father, may all of us have a place in your eternal kingdom for Christ's sake amen join us again tomorrow my friends for another episode of Alpha God bless you A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.